welcome back hi everyone and uh, uh, we almost completed uh, class trilobita and we saw the characters of uh, the extinct group of uh, arthropods and here it is a class Mirostomata. we are going to discuss in this video Mirostomata uh, term comes from miros means thigh and stoma means mouth it's Mirostomata. they are exclusively aquatic uh, all marine organisms with a median simple and lateral compound eyes so they all have a lateral compound eyes as well as a median simple eye median eye which is a simple or like light sensitive structure the body as such it is divisible into prosoma and opistosoma okay prosoma it represents the cephalothorax here we cannot distinguish between cephalic region the head region and the thoracic region and the abdominal region instead the head and the uh, thorax they form are almost a compact structure even though segmented and that part the cephalothorax it is referred here in mirostomata as prosoma okay and opistosoma represents the abdominal region uh, there are five to six pairs of abdominal appendages uh, which are modified as gills for respiration the abdomen it ends on a sharp tailson or spine and uh, the excretion is uh, brought about by coccyl glands and not malphagian tubules as in the case of insects okay uh, insects you can see malphagian tubules or something, but here you can see coccyl glands responsible for the excretion the examples uh, we have is a limulus and cherry gotus the uh, in uh, limulus we can see that uh, the uh, book lungs also help in uh, respiration uh, uh, and uh, the genital openings they are paired uh, if you see the structure of uh, the limul is the example which you are supposed to learn uh, limulus it is otherwise commonly referred as host to crab or king crab and uh, they have you can see this is the cephalothoracic region it is labeled over here uh, so this is the cephalothoracic region or what you refer as a prosoma almost a armor shaped isn't it a compact structure and this is the lateral eye one lateral eye over here another it's not visible here but the lateral eyes you can see apart from that they also have a median eye in the uh, prosoma okay the median eyes pair you can see uh, it on the prosoma and this portion this so this is the prosomal region and this is the opistosomal region or the abdominal region and uh, you can see a telson or a tail or spine it is associated with the abdominal region okay so this is the external structure uh, dosal uh, structure actually dosal dosally this is how it is visible uh, ventrally you can see all those uh, what you call appendages and uh, segmentation uh, etc we can see in detail how the structure is you can see that uh, uh, dosally the cephalothorax in the case of uh, limulus it is convex and horseshoe shaped and that is why it is known as a horseshoe crab almost horseshoe shaped okay uh, i suppose you know what is horseshoe right uh, so here the body it uh, consists of an anterior prosoma and a posterior opistosoma posterior i mean what you call prosoma it is convex uh, above with sloping slides you can see here and bears three longitudinal ridges one median and two lateral the uh, a pair of simple median eyes and a pair of lateral uh, compound eyes are placed on the dorsal surface of the prosoma uh, a prosoma bears six pairs of appendages uh, around the mouth and you can see here this is uh, uh, the uh, like uh, almost the appendages you can see here right the first uh, walking leg uh, in the case of females it is uh, structured like this in the females you can see a, a little more uh, broader and uh, what you call flattened structure you can it is easily visible uh, so prosoma it bears six pairs of appendages and uh, uh, the uh, you can see here that the first pair of uh, leg it uh, forms chelicevae okay and uh, it comes under mirostomata it comes under the subphylum chelicerata so the first pair of appendages it uh, modifies itself into chelicerae okay and then it is followed by four pairs of chelate legs chelate legs if you it is it is visible i suppose you can see here it is almost like a, a pincer or uh, the uh, what you call the terminal end of a scissors you can see right a structure like this okay if i draw it 
it the the final segment it is somewhat like this okay. it is somewhat like this okay. this is what is known as a kila c h e l a okay here right it is chelate like right uh, the first pair it is it forms the chelicera while the second to fourth it forms the when I mean the rest the, the it is followed by the four pairs of chelate legs and all the chelate legs do have a structure like this in the end okay it is a, the what you call a pincer like structure okay and this structure is what is referred as chela c h e l a and hence it is known as a chelate leg okay and this is meant for holding on to prey or capturing the prey even pushing the prey inside the mouth etc so such uh, functions are performed by the chelate leg and the last pair it is a non chelate leg like here you can see the chela is not so specific isn't it so it is a non chelate leg like. so first one chelicera first pair chelicera second to uh, fifth actually uh, it is a chelate legs and the sixth one it forms a non chelate leg and so uh, there are six pairs of uh, appendages associated with the prosoma okay now uh, and uh, dorsally uh, prosoma is associated with a pair of lateral eyes and a pair of median eyes fine then uh, it is uh, this uh, uh, portion the prosoma is uh, dorsally it is covered by a, a carapace okay very uh, thick armored like structure isn't it then uh, regarding the opisthosoma that is the uh, abdominal region this is the abdominal region this one yeah okay so this is the abdominal region and this uh, opisthosoma it is hexagonal in shape and uh, it is it uh, it can be moved or articulated uh, with prosomas that is at this point the uh, prosoma and opisthosoma at this point it can be bent okay so uh, it can actually uh, articulate movably at this particular point the uh, opisthosoma is movably articulated with the uh, prosoma okay it can be bent over here right and uh, it this opisthosoma it consists of six uh, segments you can see that is visible on the ventral side and it is divisible into uh, six uh, mesosomal segments and an unsegment unsegmented i'm sorry unsegmented metasoma uh, which is continuous with long telson or spine it is also known as a spine or a caudal spine okay so there is a six mes mesosomal segments and one metasomal uh, unsegmented metasoma uh, with long telson or caudal spine okay opisthosoma bears six pairs of appendages where the first pair forms the genital operculum okay uh, the remaining five pairs it forms the book lungs it is meant for respiration so in limulus respiration is brought about by uh, book uh, lungs okay now excretion as already mentioned is by coccyx glands and larva it is a trilobite uh, and uh, limulus as already mentioned it is a marine uh, organism it is found on the it can be found burrowing in the sand so this is about the uh, limulus i hope that is clear that is limulus is otherwise known as a host root crab or king crab its larva is almost similar to trilobite it is considered to be a living fossil because it has uh, the uh, hasn't undergone much of any changes for a long period of time so without much uh, evolutionary changes it has uh, been uh, living on the earth for a long period of time that is why it is referred as a living fossil uh, living uh, limulus they have a uh, uh, um, body divisible into prosoma and opisthosoma the prosoma it is uh, uh, dorsally covered by a carapace and ventrally it is divided it is provided with uh, six appendages and uh, the first pair it is getting transformed to a chelicera and chelis because it is having a chelicera it is un coming under subphylum chelicerata and the rest of the five segments uh, i'm sorry five pairs of appendages out of that the first four it is uh, walking legs uh, sorry what you call it, it is a uh, chelate legs and they have a chela at the end while the sixth pair of appendage uh, prosomal appendage it is non chelate in nature coming to the opisthosoma opisthosoma it is divided into six mesosomal segment and unsegmented metasoma with a long telson or caudal spine right in the, uh, the six uh, mesosomal segments they have appendages of that the first uh, pair of appendage it is forming the genital operculum while the rest of the 
uh, segments have the appendages modified to form the book gills or the book lungs uh, meant for respiration. Okay. Now, uh, between this, uh, uh, what you call uh, opistosoma and prosoma, the joint is articulable. That is, it can be bent, it can be moved with respect to the uh, prosoma. And uh, they are marine in nature, exclusively aquatic and marine, isn't it? So, they are uh, limbless, they are marine in nature and uh, they are found uh, burrowing in the sand. And limulus is a typical example for nero stomata and a chelicerella. Okay, right. So thank you.